This video is on the restaurant menu. Very simple to find. On the left hand side you find pages and it's in one of two different places. You're going to find it in the second row on the popular area and you're also going to find in business it's going to be in the second row on the right hand side of open table. Once you find it just drag it over to your desired area and you just drop it in. A window will automatically pop up. Name the title of the menu whatever you would like it to be. Pick the background color, image, and text style that you would like it to look like, and then you're on your way. If you don't want that to be seen, just press on the eyeball icon and it will disappear. Now, usually if you have a website, it will find your menu on your website. But if you do not, you can actually build your own menu. If you need to find your own menu online, you have it right here, but you can also upload that from a CSV file. Make sure that it is comma delimited or tab delimited lines. Most of you will not have to worry about your CSV file, but if you do upload from your CSV file, please follow directions below. Find a menu online or build your own menu. I want to concentrate on building your own menu because if it's already found, then there's not much that you really have to do. So I want to say build your own menu. At any time that you want to switch these around, you can. It's very simple. Maybe I want my main courses above my appetizers. Just give you one second here. And there we go. Maybe I want drinks first. Maybe I want appetizers second. And maybe I want main courses then desserts. And there we go. In drinks, as you see on the right hand side, everything's populated. I want to go ahead and click on the pencil. Category names, I want to say soft drinks because maybe I have hard drinks like liquor or different types of alcohol. If I don't, that's no big deal, but we can name it anything we want to. The name of the item, we're going to say soda. Description, I want to say is great. And then my price, I want to say $1. Okay. So now that I have that there, if I want to, I could go to the bottom and add another item. Now I know tea is not a soft drink, but I'm just going to put tea anyway. I want to see it's actually better than soda. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go price. Um, we're going to say maybe 50 cents. We want that to be. And as you see on the right hand side, uh, underneath soft drinks, soda was great. Tea is better than soda, and then it prices it out so so much. Now what we can do here is I go back to appetizers. I'm going to type in see, crab cakes. All right. The best. And I'm going to say $5. I want to go here to add another item and I want to say um, the top hat. I just made that up. All right. The top hat is made up app okay and then of course that's four dollars for instance all right and then I hit done so now you see that we have our soft drinks and we have our appetizers it's right there that's our menu let's go up here to preview and check this out as you see the soft drinks is on top the appetizers we know we have something because here's an arrow if I want to see the appetizers all you have to do is just touch it. It'll expand. If you touch it again, it will collapse. So this is what your customers are looking at. You're giving them a great menu and it's easy to use. Now let's go back here to add it a little bit more. Okay, so here's our currency. Uh, you could pick different types of currency. You could look at your title design if you want to design your title. Let's see the background color. Right now it's transparent. Maybe we want a nice uh, purple in there. So here we go. There's our titles. Let's go to general here. All right, everything's good. Title design, item design, and then you can add background colors to each item. And then you could mess with your padding and your margin. And you can also modify the CSS. That is how to add your restaurant menu to your mobile site.